What's up, Fire Family? What's up, Fire Fam? Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are doing great. Sending you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. Echo, echo. So let's hop into your reading, guys, and see what's going on with y'all. Okay. Um, this is going to be a collective reading. It's going to be for all zodiac signs. So, guys, please do only take what resonates. Don't force it to fit. All right. Whatever comes out, comes out. All right. So, let's see what's going on with y'all. Let's see what's going on with the collective. What's going on with the collective? going on with y'all what is going on with the collective who are what is coming towards the collective we got the lovers okay all right someone generous we got the lovers the six of pentacles we got the five of pentacles so some of you guys got new love coming in okay you guys are getting over the past are you guys have reached a point where you're like over the past. The Five of Pentacles is there, but you're going, even though the Six of Pentacles is in the middle, we do have the Five of Pentacles here, yes. But you guys are getting over a situation and going towards new love and being open to new love since like the new beginning here. So let's see what this is all about, y'all. We got the Two of Cups at the bottom. So what, new year, new love? Okay. So I'm loving this for y'all so far. Let's see why this five of pentacles is here. Why is this five of pentacles here? Go to the five of pentacles for the collective. Let's see. Yes, ace of pentacles. So some type of opportunity is coming in and love. I love this. Um, and you guys are definitely ready for something new. Alright, you guys are like you're not no longer I, some of you guys could have just felt left out could have felt lonely could have felt like love wasn't going to come in for you guys the ace of pentacles also represents a year so it can be that this is the new love that's coming in next year or i should say well yeah because we're what's today the 28th so yeah the new year is about to start so y'all definitely have new love coming in so let's see some of you guys are just no longer stuck or you know, stuck on somebody or waiting for somebody. All right, let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, yeah, so y'all are realizing that something isn't working out or something is not going to work out and come together between you and somebody else. And you're open to new love. And I do see the new beginning here. All right, so. All right, I'm loving this. But I will say this is an energy that you guys have kept yourselves in that you're finally shifting out of. Because the Five of Pentacles is like, it's like a, it's, in this case, it's like you guys kept yourself in this energy, okay? Having a hard time moving on, like struggling to move on, you know, um, or not allowing yourselves to move on from somebody, but now finally open to it. You see something that's not working out, or you realize something is just no longer working out, and you're just ready for something new. The universe is blessing you guys a new love. So, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, look, we have the justice. So, you are making the right decision, okay? So, yes. So, a lot of you guys are also being honest with yourselves, like I said about the situation. You're like, look, this person wasn't no good. They were breadcrumbing me. They weren't shit. They left me out in the cold. Or they played me. They lied. They did this. Whatever it may be. Whatever they did. It's like you guys are finally seeing it for what it really is. Or just finally letting go. And you're like, fuck that. I deserve better. And I want to go towards something better. And that's what you guys are going towards. Okay? Um, 
could be a Gemini coming into your life. We do have the sun. Yes, love it with the page of cups. I mean, sorry, page of swords. More Gemini energy. So Gemini and Leo energy here. We do have the Knight of Cups. This talks about the new love coming in. Page of Pentacles. So let's pull on this new love and see what they're about or see what energy we can get on them or what's going on with them or whatever comes out. Six of Pentacles is somebody uh, very generous, very giving. So they'll be, you know, giving to you guys. You know, buying you stuff, taking care of stuff, paying the bill. Alright. So let's see y'all. I'm excited for y'all. Alright, let me see. What's going on with this new person, Spirit? What's going on with this new person? We have Instagram. So maybe you guys are going to meet this person on social media, Instagram, trying to make you jealous, something you don't, something you didn't notice. Read the comment. So I don't fight this person is trying to make you jealous or anything. I feel like this will be more so like your ex. But for some of you guys, this person is right in front of you. Okay. So pay attention to your comments. I'll read your comments. This person could have already like liked your pictures. Oh, shit. Like your pictures are left some comments or something like that on your pictures. We have already involved. So this person okay so the interesting thing about this new love is that this person knows about your other relationship they don't know everything but this is somebody that has been liking your pictures or been leaving comments back when you were involved with whoever you're getting over because we have already involved okay so it says don't overstay your welcome so this would be somebody that like liked your pictures or like left a comment but like didn't reach out didn't really say much or if they did reach out they could have said something like oh you're cute you're beautiful you're attractive something like that but they didn't take it too far because they seen that you were already involved that's what i'm getting but let's clarify and see why is this your already involved card here why is this oh, your already involved card here Yeah, see, we have the Ten of Cups. They saw that you were in some type of relationship. The King of Cups. Two of Wands. Okay. And the Three of Swords. Yeah. So this is somebody that has been watching things kind of like play out. You know, or they went back to your social media time to time. Or they just been waiting, you know. Back, this is somebody that could have went on your page from anywhere from like earlier this year or last year. So this is somebody that kind of like knows about you. Maybe you just haven't paid it no attention. But we have the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups. So this is somebody that like saw you were in a relationship and you were happy. Maybe you were posting pictures of y'all or y'all traveling, doing stuff or whatever, you know. Um, but they see something has changed to a wands and then we have the Three of Swords. So they noticed that you either took pictures down of this person. Like you're not posting as much. You're not posting them as much. Okay, but this is literally somebody right in front of you guys for some of you guys that are resonating with this. Okay. Um... Or this is somebody that you guys already know. And it's this wouldn't be like whoever this is, y'all, is somebody that you either already know that has art that has been liking you for a long time, or they, like I said, have went on your social media, have left some type of message or something. Maybe you just weren't really interested, or they left some type of comment, or like I said, liked or heart at your picture, something like that. Yeah, see watching you. I need to pay attention to that. This person has been watching you. Okay? So, like again. I don't know. Maybe y'all got to go back to them comments or their messages, okay? Because somebody, they already know who you are. This person already knows who you are, okay? Or they know about you. Let's go into this watching you card. Yep, see, they've been waiting. The hey man is here. They've been waiting. Waiting their time. And look, they've been waiting for a chance and opportunity. And the crazy thing about it, this person is going to love you, okay? They are going to like, like this person, like they already like like you. They like everything about you or they like the things that you post, the things you say, how you speak, how you look because they like follow you or they go to your page. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. and then we got wedding all right so this person is like mm, i can see you as like my future wife future husband 
And if it's not on Instagram, it could be Facebook. It can be, I don't know, TikTok, any social platform. But this person has been watching you guys. Maybe just hasn't said anything yet. Why is the wedding card here? The Nine of Wands. So the Pentacle Three Inverse. Five of Swords. So this person is not married. But this person, um, oh no, this is you guys' energy. Because this was, this was you guys fighting but giving up on something, a relationship, someone that you wanted to marry or you could have been engaged to the person that you guys ended things with or maybe you just thought it was going to lead to marriage or something serious and it just didn't. And the world card is here. So now that chapter is closed. Like you're in and out and you're moving on and moving forward. But I'm telling y'all, the person that likes you guys already knows a lot about you or knows about you or watches you or sees you, views you, goes to your page, your channel, something like that. Like this person, like they know a lot about you. And they are like, they're like in love and everything, like really into you and all of that. So, very interesting. Let me see why this lovers is here. Going to the lovers. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be shocked when you find out who this new love is. Because like I said, it could just be somebody that you guys have been ignoring. Like I said, that's right in front of you. But let me see why this lovers is here. Why is the lovers here? See, Ace of Wands. And there will be a lot of, there's a, like, once you get to know this person, there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion. It's going to be like an instant connection. You're even going to like them. You know, even if you didn't think you were going to like them, you are. Things go from, like, the worst to, like, the best. Like, because we got the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Like, you guys have not ever felt like this before or met someone like this before or the way this person is going to make you feel is going to be like one of the best feelings you ever felt when it comes to love because you have never experienced this and this person is all about you and all for you they have the ace of cups in their energy twice for you guys like you know like really into you like somebody that's gonna be really in love with you guys the ten of swords is like the worst is now behind you and this new beginning in love is coming in or this new beginning is coming in for you guys in love See, the Empress, they're going to take care of you and treat you right. For some of you guys, this is going to lead to pregnancy or, like I said, some type of marriage or something like that. Yeah, we have the Empress. So some of you guys, a child. All right, we could have a Libra Taurus involved, but the Empress Page of Cups. So pregnancy, Ace of Swords is here, Seven of Cups. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, so wherever this is, like, y'all, uh, it's like how it's going to all unfold and happen. It's going to be, like, shocking, but... It's going to happen and you're going to be like, wow. You're going to be like very shocked, you know. And this person is single and available and ready. Let's put some love cards. Let's put some love messages. Messages for the collective. What is this person's um, energy towards you guys? This person's energy towards you. What is their energy towards you guys? We have sex. You and your partner will teach each other new things in the bedroom. So the sex life is going to be really good between you guys. Like I told you, this person is attracted to you guys. I don't think sex is like the only thing on their mind. No. But I, of course, like this person is attracted to you guys and wants to be intimate with you guys, of course. Let's see. We have illusion. So yeah, what you truly desire is not sex, it is safety. So this is somebody that also wants to like take care of you, be a provider, protect you. So you guys may feel like, oh, this person just wants to hit or they're just trying to hook up with me and that's not what they want. That's why we have the illusion card. This person is like, no, like I want to take care of you. I want to be a provider, a protector. You know, I want to offer security and stability. Like I don't want to just have sex with you. Yes, I'm sexually attracted to you, but they want to give you more. Like this person feels like sex is important. But sex isn't everything. It's not. It's it's not what they're aiming for. What they're after, like you is like you're the per like you or who they are after and who they want to get to know, 
and stuff like that. I don't know, this person feels like they already know you. They feel like there's some type of familiarity here. Or this person feels like y'all, like your souls recognize each other. But like I said, you just haven't tapped into this person like they have tapped into you. Or you're just not tapped into this person like they're tapped into you. But once you get to, you know, know this person, like I said, and open up, it'll be totally different. We have heaven sent. So this person also thinks that you guys are heaven sent. And it says this this is a connection you've been praying for. Mm -mm -mm. And we have commitment. You can expect this connection to last long term. So you are the person that they've been praying for. Like I said, this can lead to some type of commitment. Let's pull a couple more cards. Uh oh, I don't want that shuffle. Um, and I'm gonna see, you know, you guys' energy towards this person when they come into your life or when you guys message this person back or talk to them. Let me see, give me a couple more cards. So we have pressure. It says, apply the pressure. It's now or never. Okay, don't go back and forth. So this person is about to apply pressure if they haven't already. <coughs> oh, excuse me. For some of you guys, I don't feel like they have. Or like I said, if they have, you guys haven't been open to it. And then look, we have emotionally unavailable. So I feel like you guys have been emotionally unavailable to dating this person. Look, emotionally available and dating. Mm -mm. So... Yes, the universe is granting your wish and love. Because I feel like some of y'all been praying for this. At the bottom, we got butterflies. You give me butterflies. Got me flying so high in the sky. <laughs> so you are getting a second chance at love. Oh, cute. Super cute. Y'all, look, we went to the store the other day, and I found some clear fruit. I haven't seen this in years. I remember when I used to go to Detroit to visit my grandma or my family. They used to always have these at the store. And me and my boyfriend were just talking about, well, my fiance, we were just talking about uh, clear fruit and, like, Tahitian treat and, like, certain drinks and stuff. And then we went to the store, and I see one, and I'm like, okay. Oh, they don't taste the same as they used to from what I can remember. But it's still fire. It's still good. I'm like, let me get a little clear fruit. I remember we used to tear you up. I remember me and my cousins, we used to go to the store and trade and get these, or like Fago, like butter made chips, and tear them up. I was like, I told my fiance when I go to Detroit, I'm going to get him some butter maids because he's never had none. I'm like, what? You are missing out. But anyway, back to y'all. Y'all know sometimes I like to throw a little story in there. But yes, y'all, I'm excited about this new love. So, let's, um, let's look at you guys' energy towards them. All right, let's see. What is the color of this energy towards them? energy towards this person like how are they gonna feel towards this person what's gonna be their energy towards this person oh see that's what i'm saying y'all are sleeping on this person look don't sleep on the person that was heaven sent that the universe prepared for you guys okay for some of y'all y'all work with this person or y'all done work together like so like you've worked with this person before um, maybe you guys can be like an artist or you've done something like y'all collaborated or did something you worked with this person before for some of you guys um, but if not it's saying like y'all work well together this is a good this will be a good situation something you can hold on to something that will grow but y'all are sleeping on this person okay all right so and I'm gonna tell y'all this now looking at the cards Y'all turn y'all back on this person up here. And y'all want new love because y'all are like, fuck it, I'm going towards new love. This person is stuck in their ways. Crazy. I just can't do it anymore. But then, this person going to try to come back. And be like, oh, I can give you the world. I can give you this, this, and that. 
look, I can't tell y'all what to do. All right, but I just I'm one of those type of people where I never forget how something or someone made me feel or how something made me feel. And if it like broke me, hurt me, if it caused a lot of heartbreak, I don't like to experience the same feelings over and over again or that same feeling over and over again. I'm also one of them people like if I go to the dentist and like I remember where, like, what was that, like in 20 or something like that or 21 when I told you I had to get my root canal and I had to get some feels and stuff because I was like going to the dentist but like kind of scared. But I'm one of those type of people where when I kept going, I don't like to deal with like the pain and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? Just do everything. I'm like, whatever you can do, let's max it out. Let's tap it out. Let's get it done. Because I don't like to revisit the same feelings or feeling or certain experiences, stuff like that. Like, I don't like to do that. All right. I'm, I'm a, let's get it all done and out the way. Let's move forward. I even do that with my kids. Like, when I had to get their little feels and they had their little cavities up, I'm like, uh-uh, I told the dentist, I was like, let's just get it done. I'm like, one child at a time. So I booked one this week, one the next week, one the following week. Let's knock them out. So whoever this is, the reason why I brought that up is because you're meeting this new love, right? Yes. This person is going to try to come in and try to give or show you the world or do something that is not like them. And it's going to have you so confused and like wrapped up and caught up and you're going to be like, wow, like, as soon as I was going towards this new love and life then, like, they're finally doing all the things I want them to do. They're meeting my expectations. They're making me happy. They're talking children. They're talking marriage. They're talking about moving in together. But with this devil here, a feeling is going to revisit. Something is going to revisit. It's a way they made you feel, something they did, something they said, whatever they did to have hurt you, break you, whatever, however it made you feel. I don't know if y'all remember that feeling, but think back on that. That's what's going to happen. It's going to revisit and it's going to be worse. And not this for some of y'all, y'all going to be trying to go run back to this situation. Like, oh, I fucked up by like, trying to chase after this situation that was good, that the universe blessed you with, you know, but wanted to go back to this, whatever this situation is. Okay. Now, this isn't for all of you guys, but some of you guys are dealing with somebody that has some type of mental illness or they're struggling with something. And I feel like you guys have suspected it, you know, and this is not funny either. I feel like you guys are like, mm, I wonder if they like bipolar. I wonder if they do this. I wonder, you know, like some, like if they were to go talk to a doctor or talk to somebody, I'm nine times out of 10, they will get diagnosed with something. And no, they're not narcissistic, no. But I'm getting somebody that is avoiding something. And that is the reason why they act the way they act, the way they do the things they do, the way they, that's the reason why they treat the people the way they treat them. And this is something that has just gone on for too long. And they need to talk to somebody about it and see what their options are. See if they can do something about it, fix the situation. Okay. Um, cause it's, it's got to that point. It's got to that point, but Some of you guys are just like done, 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 and not going to pay attention to this. But then others of you, you know, I always have to tell you both sides or both situations when I see it. Some of you guys are going to be like really into this person after like sleeping on them and you're going to start liking them. And then this person is going to come in. Let's clarify this because I feel like there's something about this new person or something about this person that I just feel like you guys don't like. It may be something small. This is the Ace of Wands reverse, but... It could be something small. I don't feel like it's the, I don't feel like it's they, you know, they be or whatever. I don't think it's that, you know, but look, this person is, a, is look, the empress is here. This is your match. This is the person like this. They're, they're showing up as an emperor, but you're not seeing that because some of you guys are getting out of a to toxic cycle with somebody or you guys were just in toxic situations relationships with people so or maybe you're just not seeing it for what it really is you know what i'm saying maybe you're just not seeing that this person could really offer give and provide or do the things that you want maybe you just wanted this other person to do it because i get it that's how it is um, i i get it i understand a lot of you guys come to me you'll say that or you know like even me before one time i was just like dang like why can't this person do everything that this person did you know but then i had to realize and accept that that person would never be that person so i can't expect this person to do everything that that person did because they're two different people so it's like with this here 
I just just don't sleep on the situation, you know? Just don't sleep on the situation. Just give it some time. Give it a chance. Yeah, like the death card is here with the tower. Yeah, you're definitely coming out of some type of cycle. Things are transforming and changing here. The death card endings do bring a new beginnings. And mm, the universe spirit. Um, let me see. This tower is here. I'm not saying the universe is going to be mad at you guys or like mad with you guys, but there's something that you guys ask for and pray for. And it's like, the universe is like, okay, the nerve of you to go do opposite of what we're guiding you to do or I want you to do. You know? So, mm hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't even deal with this. And whoever this person is that's coming back, you're going to be in the middle of a third party situation. Because this person is manipulating you to come back in and putting you in a third party. Yep. And they're telling you that there's nobody else in their life, in their world, nobody else they want to be with. But putting you in the middle of a third party situation. Mm hmm And you want to know what the fucked up thing is, y'all? I just have to tell y'all this because I see it. They're putting you in the middle of a third party. Since y'all broken up, they got with somebody else. They wanted to come back around and see if they still had a chance with you. They're going to mess around with you and end up committing to this other person or committing to somebody. For some of you guys, they're going to start a family, possibly even marry somebody or move forward with them. And it's going to make you mad, but I wouldn't even entertain it. I wouldn't even entertain this because you got something way better coming in. And this person's not putting you in the middle of a third party. They're not playing games. They don't got nobody else that they're committing to. But whoever this person is over here, it's like... They're coming back like, oh, I'm going to give you the world. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to do that. Like, oh, like, let's have a child. Let's do this. Let's do that. They're like talking all this talk, like all the things you've been wanting to hear. And like sometimes I feel like the universe, spirit, whoever, I feel like they do set us up to see how we're going to respond and react, right? Because they have the queen of pentacles in their energy. You're showing up as a page of wands in reverse because you, they're coming back into your life and putting you in a third party. You're not the queen of pentacles to in their energy. You'll be the page of wands in reverse, the person that they're like, Messing back around with the fleeing something that's gonna be short term, short lived. This three of cups is in reverse. The magicians in reverse here. No, I don't got nobody lying to you, but they got the queen of pentacles around them, and we can confirm it. And no, I'm not saying it like y'all not the queen of pentacles, but whoever they got with when y'all broke up with, or when y'all broke up with them, or whatever y'all did, they went and got with somebody, and this is the person that they're either like about to move in with, commit to, do something with. I'm going for this queen of pentacles. See, this is the person, this is, you're going to get frustrated when you find out. See, look, the moon is in reverse. Can't make this up. You're going to find out about them. It's going to frustrate you. The truth is going to come out about them. And you guys are going to be like, well, what makes, like, you guys are going to kind of feel like, well, what makes them so special? Because, like, you, like, I I've been dealing with you for years and putting up with your shit. And you're doing something with them that you've never done with me. But that just goes to show you that the universe is blessing you with somebody that's in your life that's doing that automatically. Maybe, like I said, you just wanted it with them. And if they're suffering with some type of mental illness or going through something, let them go be with them then. Let them deal with it and stuff like that. But somebody is definitely going through something that is that they need to talk to somebody about. Because it's only going to get worse or something is like hereditary or they're finding out something like, yeah. This is not what's really going on today. Let's see. Unexpected visitor. I told you they were going to pop up. All right, but let's go on to this Queen of Pentacles. What's this about? Children involved. This can be somebody else that they have a child. This can be somebody that they have a child with that they went back to. And because we have obligated here and you can be like, oh, wow, well, you got back with your baby mom and I got all this serious. It could be something like that. Yep. Drama. And then we have rebounds. So, yeah. And whoever this is, that they have ugly ways. And I told you with the lust card page of Wands Reverse, you're the person that they're trying to come back and have sex with and deal with. And that they're still the hopes and dreams and wishes too. I would be careful. Cheating. Told you. So, yep. I told you they're gonna put you in a third party, and we have stuck in the relationship, stuck in relationship one night stand and mistake. 
And for some of you guys, after they were going to mess around with you for a while, they were going to tell you, like, oh, they made a mistake. Like, like they y'all can't do this right now or move forward in this kind of way and all type of shit. Like, tell them to get gone. Okay? Tell them to get gone. Like, bye. Kick rocks with no motherfucking socks. Bye. Okay? So, I wouldn't even entertain this. They're, this, they're going to be on some bullshit. But this new love that's coming in... Yes, the universe is blessing you with the new love. I want to know who this is. Because like I said, for some of y'all, y'all work with this person. Or y'all have worked with this person before. Y'all know them. Like, are you done some type of work for them? Or they done work for you? Or like I said, they just know you by just going on social media and just like looking you up and stuff. Yep, look, eight of swords. What did I tell you? I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, this is somebody that is, this is a mental illness. This is somebody that is like, they got some shit going on. Okay? And... They could have even went to jail and got worse or something could have happened or like they did they are they got like weird they be having like weird thoughts in their head and they be doing stuff or you know they just be like doing dumb stuff or the way they be thinking and acting like you just gotta be careful with this person. I'm surprised they haven't spazzed out or went nuts on y'all before. Queen of Swords is here. Two of Swords. See they're hiding whatever is going on with them very well. See five of cups. They hurt on the inside. They got something going on. And it's like, this is the type of person that would do something crazy or, like, act out in a certain type of way and then, like, cry to themselves or when they're alone, they're, like, they feel really bad for what they've done, but then they keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. So it's just, like, at some point, you're just, like, how can I even feel bad for you when you keep doing the same thing? But, yeah, y'all. Let's look at this because this person is, they selling hopes, dreams, and wishes. Tell them you ain't got no fucking time. It's a new year. You ain't got time for that. It's about to be a new year, y'all. Let's have a good, new, healthy year. Okay? Why is this here? These hope themes and wishes that they're selling. C4 Pentacles in reverse. Lion, just... When you're this person, you got to learn and let shit go. We have temperance here, judgment in reverse. See, and y'all were about to give me into it. And then, boom, look, judgment in reverse. That's somebody that can't learn... That's like you're not learning from your past mistakes and lessons and stuff. Like judgments in reverse. And then this is also you guys kind of like after forgiving them and letting them back in. Like, damn, I had to be stupid to let them back in. Why would I do that? I cannot believe it. Did y'all just hear that? The UPS truck just sped off real fast. That was scary. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Like, why am I giving in to this? Yeah, the lovers. Well, part of it because you guys did care about this person. But, yeah, you like, love don't live here no more. Eight of Cups. You're like, I got to walk away. But I feel like y'all knew that from the beginning. I really do. I really feel like y'all knew that from the beginning. I really freaking do. Okay? Let me pull another love card on this new person. Okay? Y'all, this person is a shit show. Hmm. It's a shit show. All right, so we got self-focus. It says, take a break from dating, being single for a while, no sex for now. So maybe that's what some of y'all are doing. And then we got discovery, finding the truth, secrets coming out, hidden feelings revealed. So a lot of you guys are finding things out. I feel like the discovery and the self-focus is before this new person comes in because I feel like that's what y'all are doing now. But let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Jealousy. Yeah. So that's what I feel like is the old energy. Now, universe and spirit, give me messages for the new love only. Give me messages for the new love only. New love only. Alright, so legal matters, marriage license, I told you. It can lead to marriage, okay? I don't know why the old person keeps coming back up, y'all. I don't like that. Is this confirming everything I said? Because look, 
I told you this other person was going to come in and trying to hook up with y'all. This is secret pleasure, some type of affair with somebody that's toxic, that's still chained to you. Y'all are going to have to do some type of um, cord cutting. Y'all are going to have to do a cord cutting. And I always tell you guys, when you guys do a cord cutting, cut the cord from you to them and from them to you. Okay? Artists book the ritual or something like that. Because when you cut the cord to somebody, you got to cut the cord from them to you. Because if not, they have attachments to you too. You got to do it both ways. Let me see. Let me see. Why does this toxic right here? Yep. See, look. Moving on from the toxic person and more aligned. So this will be everything I said. You're moving on from this toxic person. Okay. And now you're more aligned. You're walking your path and you're headed in the right direction. Okay. So, um,. They're going to be angry about it. Oh, well, tell them to go yell at the wall because that's probably what they do when you're not there. And then we have future plans, okay? So making plans together. So this is with a new person. Let this person be angry. See how they keep trying to pop up? See, look, you're in every other card. This person tries to pop up. So some of y'all just need to do a core cutting or some type of ritual or just really block them out because it's like every other card is like the old person mixed with the new person. And I feel like they're really going to try to come in between what you guys got going on. Yeah, but make sure your boundaries are set. Just don't let this person in, okay? Some of you guys um, have some type of party or some type of event or something that you do yearly, okay? This person is going to try to come. This person is going to try to come, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. This person is going to try. The, this person <laughs> is going to try to come in between um, they're going to try to come in between. Um, oh, wait, what is this? What is this party about? Uh, yeah, somebody's going to try to come in. Like, I don't know if this is like. No, nah, this ain't New Year's. This is like, some of y'all throw a party or event, or y'all have some type of party or event, they're going to try to come. But then, anyway, let's move forward to this new love. We got traditional, and we have children. So, like I said, we got the marriage card, traditional, and, and children. So, get your man or your new woman. Don't let this fool, this clown, or whoever this is, interfere or come in between what y'all got going on. Okay? Listen to the universe. Listen to spirit, God, whoever y'all believe in spiritually. Listen to them, because they're trying to help and guide you guys. They're bringing you guys the emperor. Are the empress they're bringing you somebody that's going to be stable they're going to offer and provide security stability you know this person is already like in love with you already it's not going to have no instant attraction but when you guys do start to talk and stuff then it's going to come which is good okay it's good i'm telling y'all because sometimes those instant attractions that for me that be the that that be what fucks us up okay it is I told y'all when I met my fiance, I, I try to find every reason not to talk to him. But then it's like, as he grew on me and I got to know him and we became friends, then it developed and changed. It turned into something else. Because I'm a Leo and I when I like someone, I like someone and I like to go after things. And before I used to see where that didn't get me or all the connections I jumped into that were like just like instant attractions and that f familiarity. And we couldn't get our hands off each other and stuff like that. It's like, it's, to me, I think it's like crazy. Because I feel like it's always like some type of like pool or it's like toxic or karmic and all this other stuff. Hey, babe, I heard, I saw you. Hey. Um, yeah. So I, I feel like when you meet somebody, sometimes those instant connections are like the scary ones. You know? So we just got to be careful with those. All right. But maybe sometimes some little instant, crazy, toxic one works. I don't know. It's different strokes for different folks. But I'm just saying with me. But all right, y'all. That is the reading for today. I might do an all signs reading. Well, not I might. I might post it today. I started it. I had to do a second half. So, um, yeah, I might get that up today. All righty. I love y'all. And... If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, you already know, fireintuition.com. All right. I love y'all. Bye, fire fam.